we are down on Brighton Beach. This is giving me so much nostalgia right now. Firstly, I'm using my camera that I first started vlogging on. I'll quickly show you. She is an absolute legend. This is what we're filming on. The Canon G7X. I love how it looks. It's just so nice and easy and simple to use because it's like so small compared to my big camera. The only thing I don't love is the audio. Like you can't plug an external audio in. So it doesn't sound the best. So I do apologize. I hope you can hear me. But this week we are gonna be in Brighton. I have been back in Europe for nearly a month now and I've had the best time. So I just wanted to share a week in my life as a digital nomad traveling my own country. So cool. So yeah, I've just went to, I went to a cute little coffee shop called Nord this morning and honestly it's probably the best coffee that I've had in the UK. So the last week I've been hanging out with my family and friends which has been amazing but I'm so tired so I'm excited to just be in Brighton for the week catch up with a few friends but like not too many so I'm just at an Airbnb in Hove it's super cute I'm just gonna catch up on some work for pretty much most of the day and then I'm gonna go to the pier which is it's, I kind of miss this moody English vibe of rain cloud and then you just like stay inside and you don't feel guilty because in Australia it's sunny pretty much every day so you kind of feel like you have to do stuff Work is finished for the day. I just did like a half day situation. And now I'm going to meet my friends in Brighton and just hang out for the rest of the day. The rain has gone and the sun is starting to come out. So hopefully we can share some cool vibes on the vlog. The hardest part of living abroad is not being able to see your friends. I actually used to live in Brighton. I went there for university and that's how I met all my best friends that I speak to every day. So it was so lovely just to catch up with people, get the cozy English vibes. And I do often consider moving back. And I think out of anywhere in the UK, Brighton would be my top choice for uh, picking a home. But don't worry guys, I'm not planning to move back anytime soon. Me and Kimmy have just been mooching around the lanes and we are in Bond Street. And I, we have hot chockies, hot chocolates, because it's kind of moody outside today. I've never tried pea milk today, so let's do a little taste test. It actually tastes really good, it tastes creamy. Mm rate the pea milk. Oh my god, that's actually so good. Pee pee, isn't it? Pee pee. Friday and it's time to do some exercise. So the weather has been very bleak today. We can't see this, but the skies are gray and it's just been pretty miserable. So I've just been working all day and I have actually been on the road now for like a month and I'm feeling kind of crappy. So I have signed up for class pass and I'm going to a yoga class. So let's go. That was the world's weirdest yoga class. The yoga instructor was so lovely. I just, I just, I wasn't expecting it. I was crawling around on all fours, like a monkey, basically. And doing like, just dancing, kind of just like moving your body freely, like that kind of yoga. We weren't even on the mats. Like we were on the mats for like two minutes. And then he was like, we're just gonna put the mats to the side. And I'm like, here we go no no digs to this yoga instructor or this yoga company because the studio was really nice but i was just like this isn't my kind of yoga i needed like a what do you call it a shiyama can't even think today vinyasa i was just really craving some vinyasa yoga and I, clearly i just didn't look i looked on class pass i was like right i want to go to yoga at 5 p.m this was like the only one available just wouldn't recommend but would recommend that yoga studio also I've just discovered ClassPass, so if you want like free classes, 
use the link below. I think you get free classes. Just sharing that info. But we are down on Brighton Beach. It's really cute vibes. It's a Friday night. I did not do all the work that I needed to do today. So I'm just going to wait for my sister and vibe out. I was just like in such a funky mood today because I don't know, just in a funky mood. So that's why I was like, I need to do some movement. Happy Saturday, peeps. We have a guest visitor, my sister. What's up? The girls have planned a surprise for me. Today, we're in Brighton, the weather is shite, and gray, just it's like a bit grey. I think, is that Amy? I think that's a dude. <laughs> um, so yeah, they've said, bring your swimmers and a towel. I don't know what, I, don't, I really don't know what to expect. He's asking any, too many questions. Any clues? Um, okay, no clues here. I'll just have to update you. So we've been walking for like 20 minutes now, maybe even longer than that. And still don't know where I'm going. Kim, give me a clue. The rusty raccoon. The rusty raccoon. No idea where we're going. Okay, I think I figured it out. I'm going to assume it's a beach box sauna. Is that where we're going, Ames? It is! Cute! That's a fun surprise. I like stuff like that that makes sense. It's your birthday surprise. Oh, thanks! Happy birthday to me! Yeah! So, we got a plunge pool, another plunge pool, and a bath. And then there's a shower up here. So, I'm definitely going to make use of all this. We've got this for two hours and it's gonna be cute. I've never worn one of these in a sauna before. Mine, what cute. is it then? What does hair? it do? Yeah. Uh, I don't actually know. I think she said it keeps the heat in. <laughs> I don't think it helps. I, I felt like a Christmas elf. <laughs> Show us your hats, guys. I need to go for mine. <laughs> Okay, so at Brighton Beach Box Sauna, it is super cute here. I think they've got a, a plunge pool here, there's some saunas, and it's right on the water as well. So we're gonna probably go in the sea. Let's go. No, I can't. I feel like you got more of that, Kim. <laughs> Okay, so they have one that is cooled by the generator. I'm gonna have to get in. This was actually my first time ever doing an ice bath and I didn't think they were cold, but they are absolutely freezing. Okay, it's really cold. <laughs> Go on, Dan out. It's really cold. Oh no, I'm done. <laughs> Have the cow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, fun fact. I don't even think I've been in the sea in England in so long. So the um, the Brighton sauna is there. And the water is just there. So we're just gonna go in. The waves are not crazy today. And it's probably cute. Yeah. Oh my god, we're doing this. We're doing this. Okay, that was very refreshing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the only thing about English beaches is the rocks underneath and now it started raining. So this is just like typical British weather. Oh. Ah. I would totally recommend the Brighton Beach Bath Saunas if you are looking for something to do and you're in the area, maybe you're here for the weekend. We spent a few hours going in and out, but mainly going in because the saunas were just so cozy. Okay, so we are now on Brighton Pier. The saunas were so much fun. Did you know you have to pay one pound to be on Brighton Pier? What do we think about that? If I told the Dane from 10 years ago what I'd be doing now, I would have probably laughed. So this Europe trip is really special to me because it's all about slowing down and spending time with my favorite people after spending so much of the last few years in Australia, which honestly feels a world away. 
Today was all about soaking up the quirky vibes of Brighton, having fun on the pier and just enjoying board games with good company. We've just come to Brighton Pier, the only ride I want to go on that's not too scary, the Horror Hotel, mate. Afternoon. I have had the most boring morning. I've just been editing a YouTube video all morning, just getting things done. It's kind of like sucks about like working and traveling at the same time. I do actually have to do some work. Um, but I'm just off to Amy's and then we are gonna go get a coffee and I'm gonna save her from a spider because, you know, Mr. Australia. So she said she can't use the bathroom because the spider is so big. So I'm actually just gonna see how big this bad boy is. Okay. Where is it? It was near. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh what? My god. So Amy has lost the spider. <laughs> She's put it under a tub and it's now nowhere. Bye. <laughs> Hello, it's currently. What day is it? So it's Tuesday and I have to leave Brighton tomorrow. I say I have to leave. I actually am excited to go to Manchester next to catch up with some more friends. But I thought I'd do a little touristy thing today. I am going to the Brighton Pavilion, which I've never been to. So yeah, I need to quickly, need to quickly get ready and then head out. It's still raining. It's actually rained for seven days in a row now. Love that. I didn't vlog on Monday, so we're picking up on Tuesday. I spent the day with friends again, exploring Brighton's amazing veggie food scene. We had a great lunch and then visited the Brighton Pavilion. It feels so out of place in a British seaside city, but it was actually really cool. I loved seeing the vintage furniture and all the intricate interior details. Thanks so much for watching this cozy laid back vlog. I know this isn't my usual style of vlog, but I just wanted like a chill week in Brighton. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next week. So until next time, take care and peace out.